Hey guys, Mark of the Dog Trainer here. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of my favorite water station for pets, which is going to be the Pet Safe Gravity Water Dispenser. Now, technically, we could also use this for food. Um, I saw some videos online and, and some pictures on Amazon of people that will just buy two of them. They'll use one for water and one for food. Um, now, I personally have only used these for water, but technically that functionality is available if, if that appeals to you. Now, I'm going to make sure that I put the links in the video description to um, this particular model. There are a few different sizes available. This is the biggest one. Um, but like I said, if you're interested, feel free to check out any of those links. Now, let's get into why I have kind of only been using this one for the last you know four or five years. Okay, so the first main thing that even interested me about this was that I was getting really tired of filling up water bowls every day that I was using, you know, kind of different brands that were a little bit smaller. The reservoir tanks just were not very big. So I found myself having to fill them up once, if not twice a day for my four dogs. So the first thing that interested me to this was that the biggest one is a two and a half gallon tank, okay, which is a a good bit of water. Now, it turned out that like with my four dogs in the summer heat of Georgia, um, I ended up buying two of them um, just to give myself a little bit of extra time. So that way, when I fill both of them up, I've got five gallons available to them. And that lasts me maybe three or four days before I have to fill them up again. So that is way better than having to fill this up once or twice a day. Okay, so now once I, that already in itself was making this product worth it to me versus the ones I'd used in the past. But then I had kind of stumbled across a couple other things that I really enjoyed that I didn't even think were possible, okay? So the next thing we'll talk about is that the classic problem with these gravity water dispensers is that once you fill them, the game of trying to tip them, put them back in the tray without getting water everywhere is a nightmare. And like, it almost feels like one of those 90s late night infomercials, like in black and white, where they show like a really dramatic actor, like, you know, spilling water everywhere while they're trying to get it on the tank. But it really was like that. So when the first thing that I had noticed about this when I was filling it up is that it has this kind of special lid that um, it only will, will release water if this is on the, the bowl. Okay, so once you fill it up and you put this back on, okay, and I'm going to show you guys in, in a little bit, but once it's back on, when you tip it over, no water is going to be spilling out. And it also has this kind of nice handle here. So if you're like, you know, need to walk a distance to bring it back, it's not, you know, slippery and wet and gross. Um, but once you put it back, it's not going to spill any water until it's appropriately locked back into the tray. And to do that, you're just going to spin it till you hear it lock. Now that kind of leads me to the next kind of like no mess thing that I really like about this is that, you know, my other guys, like I said, I've got four pretty decent sized dogs that the other dispensers I was using in the past, like they rest in, in the tray, but they're not necessarily locked in. So it didn't happen like every day, but there were a few times that my dogs came over with a little too much enthusiasm and they kind of knocked the reservoir out and it was just leaking water on the floor constantly, like emptying because it was sideways. With this one, because it's locked in, um, the entire tray is going to move with it. So I've never had the issue of my dogs like knocking the reservoir out. Okay, so, so the first main appeal to this so far was that it has a really big reservoir tank. The second appeal was that it's really less messy, that it's not spilling water when we go to put it in and it doesn't get knocked out of the tray like some of the other ones that I've used. Now, as far as like cleaning and maintenance goes, okay, like I think a lot of people are uneducated in how frequently we're actually supposed to be cleaning our dog's food and water bowls. We're like food bowls should be cleaned daily and water bowls probably every time that you fill them up. So there's a stainless steel actual bowl that goes inside the plastic tray. And this is dishwasher safe. Now, everything else, it doesn't really say if it's dishwasher safe, but, you know, in full disclosure, I put this in the dishwasher, like on the top rack, and it's been totally fine for me personally. And I also will put the lid on the top rack sometimes as well. The only thing I don't put in the dishwasher is the reservoir tank. 
um, probably just because it doesn't fit in there, or I probably would have tried by now. So, um, so 75% of this I put in the dishwasher and the tank itself, I just fill with Dawn soap and I'll kind of like rinse it out. And, um, and that's how I clean this. Okay. Now, um, like I said, I own two of these at, at the moment and one of them, uh, I, I probably broke after three years. There was like a little hole that was starting to show up on the plastic tank. And um, the other one is still going strong. So, so out of the two that I bought, one lasted three years and one is going on five years. So when, when my first one broke, I did buy a replacement. I mean, these are not super expensive. So even if three years is kind of the minimum, it, I kind of justified it because that really, I think I might've paid 40 or 50 bucks for it. So for that plastic to last three years was kind of plenty. But the other one, like I said, is still going strong. So when I bought the replacement, um, obviously I had to throw away the tank, but I kept the bowl and the tray. Um, so that way, if one of mine is in the dishwasher, I kind of have another one that I can put down, um, to put the tank into. Um, so that's actually been kind of, kind of nice. Now, um, as far as everything else goes, I mean, you know, again, there's no electronics because it's like a gravity, you know, style. Um, so those are probably all the main things that real, really appealed to me and why I'm kind of such an advocate of this specific model. Now, not that there's a lot of rocket scientists, uh, uh, science to this, but what I'll do real quickly here before we wrap up the video is I'm just going to show you, you know, what it looks like to fill it up, stuff like that. Um, and then we're probably just going to wrap up the video from there. So uh, let's get to it. All right, guys. Like I said, this is going to be pretty quick and pretty painless. Okay, we're going to take this out. And then usually while this is filling up, you know, I'll take these out. And if I decide to put them in the wash, I'll do that. Sometimes I'll just take some soap and water and a rag and just kind of wipe them out. And then once this is filled, okay, we're just going to imagine for this video that this is totally filled up now. We're going to put our special lid back on. And like I told you with these ones, when we tip them, it's not going to be spilling water everywhere. Another kind of nice thing is that you can also see, you know, how much water is left in the reservoir. Like if it were on the, um, you know, on the tray, and we'll put it back in, starts coming out once it's attached again. And then again, these gravity systems, the way that they work is that once it's kind of hit its capacity, it stops stripping out. If the dogs shrink more of it, more starts to come out. Every so often, I will take off this plastic piece um, that it just makes it a little easier to clean this. And I might clean this out if, you know, water or anything gross kind of got in here. Okay. Now, normally, like I said earlier in the video, I've got a kind of backup one that I've got over there. So normally I'm just kind of carrying this thing back over there. But um, yeah, so outside of that, I think that is pretty much everything you guys need to know about the Pet Safe Gravity Water Dispenser. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.